So ministers have stepped up attacks on rev revolting, that's a quote, P&O ferries after a mass sacking of 800 crew to be replaced with £2 an hour agency staff. So, yes, if you, I mean, I watched the video on this day. It's, it's, it's very upsetting. Basically, people have been kicked out. They might have been there decades even. Suddenly, they've been kicked out immediately overnight and uh, 800 staff sacked. And the, the, the legality of it is, com is complicated because the company is, that owns it is in Dubai and the contracts were signed in Jersey. So no one knows if it's even legal to do this or not. So that, that might be how they're getting around the legality. But... But it's still this the moral question which everyone's focused on, which is it's a terrible thing to do. And Labour have suddenly decided to care about working people again, and they're attacking it. And uh, yeah, it's little you could argue cynic, a cynic could say it's a bit hypocritical after we've uh, destroyed the travel industry for a, a couple of years. But yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a terrible way to behave towards your staff. What were you going to say, Andy? Um, well, I mean, just to say, I, I mean, I think it was particularly shabby uh, because the way they did it, it was a pre-recorded video over a Zoom meeting, oh, yeah. which is very much the equivalent of dumping your partner with a text message, which has definitely not happened to me, by the way. Uh, Glad but to I, hear that. Yeah, but but I you would, have done was, it to others. Oh, yeah, all the time I'm a player. But the thing is... <laughs> it was Instagram, wasn't I, it? Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> but I think, you know, we've now got this situation where um, ministers are obviously stepping in, but, of course, it's very important for the Tories to be seen to be protecting workers' rights and workers' interests. But let's face it, workers' rights in this country have been meagre ever since the Thatcher's conflict with the unions back in the yeah, day. And then the yeah. new Labour was very pro-corporate, pro-managerial class. And then the, the Tories in the 2010s. We've had a steady, continual decline of, uh, of support for workers and workers' rights. And it's, you know... It's a bit late, but, you know, maybe the Tories will have to do something. But they have to do something because they need to keep them on side, yeah. you know, if they're going to maintain that. But are you really pro-union? Because it's Yes, I am pro-union. What about when they do the tube strikes and they just bring all of London... Or school to closures hall? during the sure, pandemic. But, but your irritation about your travel plans is not the same. I get taxis, bro. It's not my <laughs> problem. It's, you get a chauffeur, right? You're, yeah, yeah, but, it's, I'm, but it, it brings London to a halt. It I, cr crashes the whole look, I, I think there is absolutely irresponsible behaviour when it comes to striking, and you mentioned schools as well. Mm. Uh, and that is absolutely possible, and it is absolutely the case. We've seen it very recently from the National Education Union, the way they're behaving with their strikes at the moment, which are very ideologically driven. Um, but what I would say is, when it's done well, uh, you do need to have protection for working people. You absolutely do, because otherwise they will be exploited by, by rich and powerful people.